Well, welcome back. We're going to get into some pipe tampers today. Stay tuned. Well, welcome back, everybody. As promised, we're going to get into these tampers today. They're all the 8 Deco brand. You can see there. Eight Deco. It's hard to see on the chrome. There we go. Eight Deco. So yeah, there's one, two, three. Oh, by the way, here is the little French pipe that came in several, several videos ago, and I ran out of time on the direct upload. So yeah, so this is it. This is one of my little, this is my, one of my golf pipes. France. I guess this is the manufacturer of Mion. Anyway, let's get this tamping started. I don't know if these have um, different <clears throat> names for the tampers, but here we go. So this one's one I just used. As you can see, it uh, keeps the ash in there, but this chrome finish actually cleans up pretty easily. I've been using these for, I guess, a couple of weeks now, and the chrome finished ones, you can even run some water in here and this this ash, if you're bothered by it, comes right out. There's the 8 Deco. This one has sort of two bands with sort of a black enamel accent on it. And then this is the, I don't know what color this was, but the swirled acrylic. I'd say that's about 3 8 diameter. And the foot, I think smoking pipes tells you how big the foot is, but I'd say it's about a half an inch. Yeah. The thing I like about these tampers thus far is, well, the large foot. Um, these holes are touted as, you know, well, so you can, you know, draw in while you're tamping and your, uh, your pipe won't go out. But I don't really, I've never had that problem happen with just a regular tamper. But what I do like about the feet, or the foot on each one of these, which is the same, it has these little these little ridges in here. Let's see if we can get closer. Sorry about my dry fingers, but no, I guess not. But these little ridges, if you can sort of tell, they're kind of sharp go in one direction and so it actually sort of provides like a almost a cutting effect so when you're tamping the pipe here versus just tamping I've always I've actually spun the tamper too to flatten out and, and, and even out the the ash on top and this little cutting action I like how that that works with the pipe. See there again, even just knocking it off here, you know, half of it comes out of there. But no big deal.
unless it's a big deal to you. You can clean it up pretty easily. Now the other thing with these tampers is most of them, most of them have a dottle pick. Now, you could also use this as a scraper. It does have sort of square cut sides where this is machined off here, but it's not super sharp, so I don't believe that this would really hurt the inside of your pipe. And what I also like is that this 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 edge here that you would be scraping with, it gets fatter down here at the bottom. So you don't have to worry about digging into the bottom of your bowl since this is nice and rounded here. So I like that. I like that a lot. So there's that one. The next one is similar. Same sort of foot as you can see here. And has this, I don't know if you call this acrylic or, or what, but this ribbed section, which, which you know, gives you some, some interesting tactile feel, especially when you're, you're tamping and you're doing this. I, I tamp like that. So, I like that. The other thing on this one is it has this little spoon here, which aids in cleaning up your bowl, but also sort of prevents it from rolling. So most of these will roll, but this, this keeps it some, from rolling off. This one will just roll right off the table if you're not careful. So that's why I like this little flat piece here. And it's much longer. I'd say this is about five inches, maybe four and a half. This one's about three and a half or four inches, approximately. But this one also has the uh, pick as well, except this pick is different. This, I don't know if they're all this way or if they're, depends on which batch is, <laughs> is which, but if you, as you can see, this, this dottle pick is different from this one. It's longer, first of all. It's about, mm, Seven eighths longer, and the scraper, being that the pick is longer, is also, I'd say, half an inch longer on the scraping section. The end of it smooths out a lot more than the end of this one. So if you're worried about, you know, your heritage pipes becoming damaged by scraping the inside, this is going to be a lot more gentle, I believe. I don't, a lot more is that correct? <laughs> anyway. This will be much more gentle on the inside of your pipe with this rounded bead on the end. And that rounded bit, you don't I don't think you'll have to worry about, you know, when you're picking out the dottle at the end of your bowl there, about it damaging anything. This one I don't believe would damage it either, but it is a little does have some steeper sides on it, like you can see here. But yeah. So those are the, that's those two. Now the the least expensive one I ordered was this bamboo one. Now I'm assuming that, you know, they'll all be different, but made similar, similarly to each other. This one, I've only used the end of it a little bit as a dottle pick. This one doesn't come with anything inside of itself. It's just the bamboo itself, as you see here, with this sort of laser-etched 8-deco on there. It also has the foot. I think this foot is actually made of something of a different material. I, I, um, this is probably some sort. These are these chrome ones are probably some sort of steel, some lesser metal, and then of course chrome plated. Versus this being, uh, pretty sure it's just brass. It's a lot lighter. This pick is really light. This tamper, and the the main drawback to this tamper is, you know, if this is your if this is your tamping view. You know, if you can notice my fingers up here on the the bamboo, you know, if you're if you tamp this way, maybe do a little twist in action here, no big deal. But I often grab the tampers down closer 
and my finger on this piece of brass here. And when you're first lighting this thing and getting it going, this brass conducts heat so well. I've actually, I wouldn't say burnt my finger, but uh, it let me know that that metal was getting quite warm. And uh, at, uh, the very first time it happened, I actually thought I burnt myself. Um, but of course I, I didn't, but it's quite a shock to uh, all of a sudden have heat on my, my hand that way versus these other tampers, even with the metal and I, I use it the same way with my fingers down low on the metal here. I haven't, I haven't received any heat transfer that way, but yeah. So that's the, uh, the eight deco tampers that I have here. Uh, I only have the three. There's a couple more I want to order just to get a look at. Um, some interesting uh, design features of a, of a couple different ones. And we'll get back to you once I order and receive those in. Other than that, let us know what you think. Do you uh, have any 8 Deco tampers? What do you like about them? Have you had any longevity issues with them? You know, I've only had them just a short while. But based on, you know, the fit and finish that they come as, uh, you know, from the factory here or from smoking pipes, they all seem fine. I don't, I don't see any issue, you know, quality-wise. You know, the acrylic here is highly polished. Um, I, it's not mirror polished, but, it, you know, it's, it's pretty smooth. And the, the chrome work and the, the metal work here, all, all this seems to be pretty well polished before it's chromed. So I think quality-wise, these are worth the investment. Um, well, let us know what you think. That's it for that, guys. And, oh, by the way, Smoker's Haven. I'm down to the dregs. This has turned out to be a, a blend that I, uh, I've really liked, which is kind of a shame because it's hard to get. But, uh, yeah, so that's sort of a quick quick ending uh, to the video, but if you like the video, leave a comment, share, and uh, later.